What's going on guys, Pikachu Hunter here, and today I'm bringing you a Raticate Break Update Deck Profile. Um, I did do this as one of my first videos, uh, it actually after the first Mewtwo video I did, do not go check out the Mewtwo video because it was horrendous for my first video, I regret doing it. Besides the point, let's move on shall we, because I do not want to get waffling on, and I'm here for you guys, not for myself. Anyway, uh, by the way, if you enjoyed this video, um, like and subscribe, and I'd like to see minimum 100 likes, yeah? I, I don't see that out of the question, it's all up to you guys, okay? I'm here for you, okay? The more people like the series, the more of a ch it's got of a chance of continuing, okay? So, let's get to it, shall we? So, starting off, we have... Just slap this over to the side here. Four Raticate Breaks from Breakpoint. 110 HP, extra stage EG evolution for Raticate from Breakpoint also. We'll be getting a new version of it, but besides the point. Um, Raticate Break, Super Fang, two colorless energies. Put damage counts on your most active Pokemon until the remaining HP is 10. Goes through everything, pretty much. Well, it doesn't really go through everything. It goes through a lot of cards, though. Yeah, it goes through a lot of cards, but it wouldn't go through, say, Glaceon. That's the most annoying side apart it. But anyway, moving on. Yeah, Raticate Break, four of that, so on and so forth. Great card. Honestly, I love the step to pieces. Uh, you can change it however you like, by the way. It's up to you. Personally, I like it like this. I'd like to have more Lysanders, but anyway. Uh, four Raticates from Breakpoint also. 70 HP with the ability Antibodies. If this, this Pokemon can't be affected by any special conditions. Remove any special conditions affecting this Pokemon and Dirty Shark. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to that Pokemon has a weakness of fighting, has a free retreat cost, so on and so forth. Run four of them. Just gotta try and keep these in the freaking camera. <laughs> yeah, run four of these just to go with the four Raticate breaks. <laughs> uh, now we've gone to a Pokemon I personally cannot wait for his new. Sorry if the. Uh, Sound went a bit weird there. I had to lean down and pick up cards because I dropped them like a moron. Is Rattata to go with the Raticate and the Raticate Break, so on and so forth. Also from Breakpoint, but I will re be replacing these with the new Rattata that gets released next month from Evolutions. Sorry if I sound ill, by the way. I've been a bit bunged up with a cold and that, so <laughs> sorry if I do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for Rattata, Rattata, Rat uh, uh, Rattata from Breakpoint, yeah. Uh, new one coming from Evolutions also has an ability. Uh, if you play it from your hand to your bench, you can discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, which could be really annoying, especially if you're running four of, of the same Pokemon with the same ability. So, yeah. This one's not too bad either, though, personally. I might run a 2 2. I'm not too certain. Maybe it's. 3-1, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but this one has Dangerous Suspicion. Uh, draw a card, switch his Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. There you go, that. Yeah, run four of that to go with, basically, it's a 4-4-4 four, four, four line. Next, we have, if I can just pick them up, not again. Uh, give me a second, guys. Uh, here we go. Next, we have two Arenas and two Spinarak. Spinner Rack, String Shark, Flipper Coin, If Heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralysed. Not great, but it's a good stall tactic if you really need to. Personally, though, you wouldn't want to be attaching energies to this Pokemon. But yeah, Spinner Rack, and then we have Ariados with Poison's Nest. Oh, you see none. Shiny one. Uh, Poison's Nest, once you're in your turn for your attack, you may use this ability. Both active Pokemon, except for Grass Pokemon, are now poisoned. Great combo with this deck, absolutely love this combo, the only problem is it backfires to the point where it hurts, but you just take the longer route around it really, but yeah. I run a 2-2 two -two of these, uh, it has 70 HP, uh, this has 50, Rattata had 30, so on, <laughs> yeah, um, 
Thirty hit, uh, impact does thirty damage. Your opponent can't retreat. Sounds like a similar attack, which I'll be showing you in a bit. Next we have, if I can pick it up. Nope, nope, nope. And go again. And dropping cards galore today. Two carvings for our Bates Collide. Uh, by the way, these are from Ancient Origins. That's Arios, that is. Arios. <laughs> uh, yeah. Next we have Karmic from Fates Collide. Has the ability to safeguard. Great stall tactic, especially for the start of the game. You've got this up front. You're powering up your Rathakites and so on on your bench. But yeah, safeguard, prevent all effects of attacks and uh, the effects of the. Prevent all. Attacks, uh, effects of attacks including damage done to this Pokemon, Pokemon EX. I struggled to read that really badly. Power Gem does 40 damage uh, for a fighting in a colorless. You can't use these attacks because we only run double colorless energy in this deck, which is. I'll show you later on. Next we have Artillery and Remoraid. Artillery has the ability Bissell Hand. A Bissell Hand, sorry. Uh, during your post next turn, before your attack, you may draw a card until you have 5 cards in hand. And Hug for two Water and Colorless does 40 damage. And the defending Pokemon cannot retreat during your opponent's turn. Sounds similar to um, Impaled on Poison's Nest. Only problem is, it costs more energy, it does more damage. Only by 10, but still. As you can tell, this is an evolution based deck as well, so it's painful. So you might want to go first with this deck. And we have Remoraid. With the Iron Paul attack, it's a the same kind of play. Because there's a lot of decks out there are playing Parallel City. And here's a little tip for you. If you don't already know this, this is. Sorry for the nose again. If you have a Parallel City in hand and your opponent has a Parallel City in play, you cannot replace their Parallel City. The rule where you cannot replace the stadium with the same name includes your opponent as well. So, say Remrose or Stadium. And... My opponent had the Rembrandt Stadium in play, and I top decked my Rembrandt Stadium. I couldn't replace their Rembrandt Stadium, for example. Uh, just a little tip for you for future games. Don't just. That's why I run the Iron Paw one because it discards the opponent's tool card uh, of the Stadium card even from the field. Excuse me. Uh, anyway, moving on, we have a Klefki. Now this is one long backside ability, so I'm just going to point down to the basics. You attach it to your, po you, you play it to the bench, use the ability, attach it to your active Pokemon, uh, attach it to one of your Pokemon. Yeah, attach it to one of your Pokemon, and the Pokemon this card is attached to cannot be hurt by Mega Pokemon at all. So, really useful cards for this deck, especially with the amount of Mega decks that are roaming around out there, like Mega Rayquaza, Mega Mewtwo, potentially Mega Gardevoir, which, by the way, I'm in the process of building. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys, this cold does not want to go away. Anyway, next we have Free Sycamore. Well, Professor Sycamore, not Sycamore. Yeah, free Professor Sycamore, discard your hand, draw seven. Very simple card. Uh, as much as I hate to admit it, this card is good. This card is great for decks, especially this one, because this one you want to be burning through your deck as quick as possible. But not too quick. That's why I run Shauna. In case you want a Shauna instead of Sycamore. Get it? <laughs> now, um, Shauna is your hand, then uh, you draw five cards from your deck. So, basically, you'd... Shuffle, 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 then go one, two, three, four, and so on. But yeah, that's sure for you. Next we have, and it's my favourite full art, Winona! The full art is real. Yeah, Winona, um, set your deck for three colours Pokemon, reveal them and put them into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. I, what's the what's the typing of the main attacker of this deck again? Uh, I'm sure it was colourless. I run two of these, obviously. Not two of the full art, sadly, but yeah. Uh, two win owner, just to get out the Rathlases and Rathlicates and so on. Next we have two Wally. One for Generations, one from Ruined Skies. 
search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and um, evolve one of your Pokemon in play. It counts as evolving that Pokemon, you cannot do this for EX Pokemon. Yeah, search your deck, search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon, excluding Pokemon EX, and put it onto that Pokemon as counts as evolving that Pokemon, shuffle your deck afterwards. You can use this card during your first turn or on a turn that Pokemon was put into play. I'll run two of them, so that's to get, say you've got Raticate out on your second turn, and you're like, oh, I know what I'll do. I will Wally into Raticate Break, because I've got Ariado set up, I've got Raticate set up, die. Because by the point you've got Ariado and Raticate set up with Raticate with energy on it, your opponent's screwed, unless they've got like a Hex Maniac or um, Garbodor. Garbodor's annoying. Next we have N. Each player shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck and then draws cards equal to their prize cards. So basically, oh I've got four prize cards, I draw four cards and so on. It's a great disruption card, a lot of people would play more of it in a deck than just one. In this deck, I could only find room for one. Again, you could take it out for a Lysander completely, but I like N as a disruption card. And anyway, moving on to Lysander. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or her active Pokemon. Again, another good card for any deck, really. Normally, it's out of two of these days without Battle Compressor. Uh, if you don't want Battle Compressor, it sets your deck up for, for up to three cards and discard them. But anyway, yeah. Lysander, it's a necessity in any deck these days. Uh, I'm terrified of next year with what's going to be happening, but anyway. Uh, next we have Pokemon Ranger. Uh, remove all effects of attacks on each player and his or her Pokemon. So basically, Glacial has just attacked, done 70 damage to us. We can't hurt them. Wait a minute, play this. Yes, we can. And so on. It also works for Volcanion. If you were running an old Volcanion deck with the Volcanion EX, I mean, if you keep playing Pokemon Ranger, you will eventually just get into the rhythm of going, right, I used Volcanic Heat last turn, I know what I'll do, I'll Pokemon Ranger, I'll use Volcanic Heat this turn, and so on. Uh, next, we have a Delinquent also. Uh, again, another way to discard the Stadium card in play. If you do, your opponent discards three cards from hand, so it's a major disruption card. This card was released into uh, released in breakpoints. Uh, it never saw a lot of play, I'll be honest, and that was probably because everyone didn't think it was that great. And now that the rotations happened and we're at Primal Clash onwards, this card has become so much more played, it's unbelievable. But yeah, it's a great disruption card. You normally play it when you post only got three cards anyway. And moving on, we have Free Parallel City. You remember what I said earlier? With these parallel cards are weird because it hurts either way. So for example, if you played it that way, and you're the one playing it, you can't replace it. If your opponent runs to say a stadium, they can't replace it. It's stuck there for the entire, entire game unless you delinquent it or you eh, use Iron Ball. It's just one of the ones, if you have that in play and your opponent can't replace it and you can't replace it, it can really hurt a lot. But yeah, uh, Parallel City, blue side, uh, you're only allowed up to three Pokemon in your bench. Red side, grass, fire and water Pokemon uh, attacks are reduced by 20. So, a great card in the game, it really is. Uh, by the way, if you want to read it for yourself, it's just there. Yeah. If the camera will focus. No, it won't. Okay. Yeah. It's a really awkward ruling that I personally think they should really change a little bit, but. Nope. Next we have Free Ultra Ball. What's all a deck without Ultra Ball? Oh, I know, a deck that works. <laughs> now nah, I'm joking. Um, Ultra Ball. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Another good card for this deck. Another good card for any deck, really. Uh, discard two cards from your hand. If you can't discard two cards, you can't play this card. Uh, if you do, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. I do really well to memorise that. But yeah, uh, 
Ultra Ball, again, it's a really common card to be played in every deck these days. Sometimes it's at a 1 of, a 2 of, a 3 of like this, or even people play 4 ofs, which is the limit, obviously, but you know, it's one of those cards that you can't go wrong with. <laughs> well, I can, but others can't. Next, we have 3 level ball. Because every Pokemon one in this deck near enough, other than Raticate Break, has HP below 90, this card gets out every Pokemon one in the deck, bar Raticate Break. Which Raticate Break we have, Winona for, we have Ultra Ball for, it's Raticate Break isn't a bother. Level Ball on the other hand is, and it is absolutely amazing in this deck, and I love it in this deck. Next up we have, if we can pick up the freaking cards, as you can see, Bursting Balloon, uh, free Bursting Balloon, uh, the Pokemon this card is attached to, uh, if it's attacked by an attack, or, yeah, if it's attacked by the opponent's Pokemon, uh, the opponent's attack Pokemon will receive 60 damage, even if this Pokemon is knocked out, discard it at the end of the opponent's turn. Yeah, when this card is attached to one of your Pokemon, discard it at the end of the opponent's turn. Uh, if the opponent's, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is your is your active Pokemon, I should say, and is damaged by your opponent's attack, even if that Pokemon is knocked out, put the six damage counts on the attacking Pokemon. See, it, yeah. Again, another group card for this deck. Cause say you are in a little bit of a stitch, your abilities are shut off. You play this, attach it to Raticate, break. So let's just get a break out. Ugh. Yeah. So you've got right cape breakout, you've just attacked, you attach that, your opponent's attacking Pokemon just goes, well, he's no threat, I don't think that's all card's gonna hurt, uh, well, it'll make the opponent think twice, I should say. So the opponent's just like, oh, you got a burst ability attached, if I attack, I die, if I don't attack, you survive, and you have a chance to reset up next turn. Oh no, what do I do? You see where I'm going with this guys? Burst of Blue can be a really good disruption card as well as a really good destructive card. Next we have one of the most expensive cards in TCG other than Shaman. is VS Seeker. Uh, put a support card for your discard pile into your hand. So simple. Yet so expensive. <laughs> um, yeah, VS Seeker it, for an uncommon is expensive. Luckily, it's still in format. Thank the Lord Almighty. Do not hate me for saying that. It, 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 I'm just so happy. Yeah, honestly, if there wasn't a secret rare in Roaring Sky, Skies, which if you didn't know, yes, there is, um, then VSC would be gone and we would be screwed. But yeah, it's a good card, especially if you want to reuse the Posey Discard Pile. I only have two, so it's like. It's a struggle. Next we have two Max Potions. Because we only play a certain type of energy in this deck, we can play the Max Potion and get the energy back. So it's no pain, really. But yeah, uh, heal all damage from one of your Pokemon. If you do, discard all energy attached to that Pokemon. Major p uh, payment for it, but it's worth it. It really is worth it. Anyway, moving on. We have Eco Arm. Shuffle three Pokemon tools from your discard pile into your deck. Another re uh, a reshuffle card, basically. Supercharge, another reshuffle card. Shuffle two special energy cards from your discard pile back into your deck. Super hard. Shuffle three in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard, ca discard pile back into your deck. See what I'm going with this? It's a lot of back in. Back in, back in, these three cards, shuffle, everything back in. <laughs> Without them though, this deck would be very uh, in a large trouble, let's just say that. Next we have the three forms of switching in this deck. We have switch, switch your, at, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon, very simple. Escape rope, each player switches to his or her active Pokemon with his or her bench Pokemon. Your opponent has to switch first. If the player does not have a bench Pokemon to switch, he or she doesn't switch the Pokemon. 
So basically, you've got the escape rope Pokemon up front. So an escape rope shoot, you can't switch anything. You can't just go, oh, I lose because I have a guy that's active Pokemon. It doesn't work like that, it stays the active. And next we have Floatstone. The, po the Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost. This is mainly for artillery because he is mainly to stay on the bench. To have our artillery or Ariados, this is for your choice. Personally, you want to keep it on artillery. Ariados can be replaced. Artillery can't. <laughs> uh, next up we have four DCEs or double colorless energies. Uh, double colorless energy provides two colorless energies at once that is basically what it does and I know there's three fates collide ones here and a freaking I think this dragon is exalted yeah don't worry they're not going anywhere it, they've had two different reprints they're safe for now but yeah DCE in this deck without it it would be dead honestly if we lost DCE this deck would be dead pretty much it would be so hard to set up I say that, there's ways but it's painful, more cards, less room, so on and so forth, but yeah, this deck is a good deck, there are so many different ways to build it, it is unbelievable, but personally it is up to you how you build it, and really it's more about what build you want, you can build the uh, Max version, you can build pretty much any version of the deck that works. This is the version I like because, yes, there may be a lot of ability locking decks out there. I just knocked the camera twice. I'm an idiot. Uh, there's a lot of ability locking decks out there, and honestly, this deck it's only a fun deck, it's a budget deck, is what it is, and it's so easy to make it's unbelievable. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. As I said in the beginning, like and subscribe. Uh, I want to see 100 likes on this video. I need, honestly, it's your choice, really. The more you like it, the more of a chance it's got us keeping the series going. <laughs> uh, links in the description will be down in the bottom uh, to the Facebook group, Facebook page, and. Try to remember now. Twitter pet uh, Twitter as well. So uh thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Ciao. <laughs>